Okay, so today I will be working on the import-export uh, functionality. Primarily, the idea is to see if I can actually rip out the uh, well, the import-export functionality, at least um, from the main application because right now it's entirely if I check the the root no the root CMake lists the import export is all whoops is all put together in a library and that library library is always directly linked into the main application which is wait hold on this is also here Um, all right. Not sure why these are here. Anyways. Oh, no, yeah, they're linked in. Uh, they're not compiled in, though. Not for these ones. Okay. So i got to clean that up a bit. But the point is, regardless, I want to be able to take these out and load these dynamically as shared libraries or, you know, like Windows E. DLLs, and I've been working mostly under the assumption that uh, th that that's been one what I've been wanting to do, but I haven't actually been doing it, in, running it in that kind of state. So I don't actually know if what I've done is a hundred percent actually would work if it was a plugin, if it was a linked at runtime shared object, or if it's like still intrinsically linked in a way because. As long as it's directly linked in, compiled into the main application like this, I can accidentally add extra calls or calls to the specific symbols that I don't want. For example, right now, or to make it easier for myself, for example, right now in register basic functionality down here, I'll have like direct links to the call function calls for you know, yeah, the YAML uh, registering the exporters and the importers. And I want to see if I can extract those twofold, actually. See if I can extract those. And secondly, if I do remove an importer or an exporter, does, you know, do, 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 does the importer slash exporter actually notice this and give an error? You know, saying, I can't import the thing you've given me. Help. Or the same for export, right? I can't. I, I don't know what. I don't know how to deal with this type. So you know, the thing you're producing is going to have missing information. You know how to proceed. Right now, I actually have no idea how it handles it, if it handles it at all. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to rip out. Like I'm going to leave the functionality in position. Actually, that's a good one. I'll leave the function, the actual core functionality in, but I'm just going to remove the importer and the exporter. So that's this, this, and then the registration down here and down here. And I'll see how well it actually works, if it works at all. The answer is it doesn't work at all. And it is at the point in the main application where it's just trying to run. Because it's trying to run on a position. Okay, the pool exists. Yeah. But of course, like I don't import any data into that pool, so it's empty. So the thing it got was null pointer. So there we go. We got a problem right there. Cool. So the question is... Going back into IMX YAML importer, what is happening? Why is it considered to be just going through just perfectly fine? So we got this. Reads the ID, reads the editor name, and goes through and does the nodes. Let's see what IT dot first is, because that's the key type. Um, that it's always trying to bring in 10. Okay. Render state, armature state, render state, armature state, render state, K. 
camera. And then that's it. Okay. So it doesn't even try to... Let's make sure. I do have... So there's the camera and there's the position. So... Okay, so what's happening is, read, read, going through, okay, this is probably it here. Because it's pulling in a map, and it's iterating through the map, it's iterating through the map of the string, which are the keys, and then the functions. Since it's just iterating through only what I've got registered, it's just missing out on things that exist here in the data but which it doesn't have an importer for. <laughs> so. I need to iterate through a different manner. I need to iterate through the actual map of the entity it's of the no entity node itself, the data node. I need to go through index ID, editor name, position 3D, and then camera. And if it can't find, you know, if it can't, whoops, if it can't parse or can't find a parser or an importer for this, then it fails. Which means, um, what okay for okay let's see auto const and I want to iterate through the node entity node I'm not sure if this will work though Standard string. <clears throat> as long as I'm going to like conform to the idea that everything is always going to be like this, like each the base of each entity, the data will always be like a map like this. Then each key or each node under that will be dot first, and then I, it's a it's a dynamically typed, so I need a do this. Dot as that. There we go. Okay. So it's YAML CPP is all dynamically typed. Which means, okay, index ID, <clears throat> editor name, position 3D, render state. Right, and only the render state is captured from this, which makes some sense. Okay. So I need to change how this works, obviously. So I need to say, you know, if uh, key, whoops, where is, how do I start that up? I don't know. Uh, if it equals index ID or I don't know what uh, the other ones are. Under resource. I don't actually have that tested either. Um, What's the other thing? Okay. Group ID. Yeah, 
if a there are these cases continue i don't actually care about these nodes these no these these node types these key node types are handled up here i mean i could maybe merge them in but i'll i'll do that later or maybe i want to put index id and group id under a separate node like have id then index id group id or something like that Perhaps. At any rate, so now we're here. We want to get the standard key. Okay, we already have the key, so now we're here. We already have the sub node at this point. So then what I want to do is I want to go for... Okay, so that, this is just going to be like the slower because rather than going through each thing once... I'm going through this map over and over and over and over again per node, which is going to be slower, but uh, you know what? I'll deal with it for now. Or would it be? I already have this as a, as a that, right? Yeah, map. Auto const and it is a map, so I can actually just you know uh, try to find it. Like if auto find equals component function map dot find is it find? He find not equal component kind of function map dot n. Then I want to process it through this. Search iterator, then process it. Otherwise, I want to I want to throw out a big old error. Result equals false. And I want to do for log of. Go to import state data fail. Fill the find importer par Im importer parser. This should pretty quickly still do the same thing and just completely ignore what I wanted to do. Yes, of course, of course. Why would it, it not do that? Okay. Position 3D, fine. Actually, no, 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 this is perfect. Position 3D. Okay. So I'm just ignoring the result, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just ignoring the result. Import state data. Um, Okay. Do 
I actually not have? Yeah. See, I don't release it yet, so I can actually save it at almost any time here. If this fails for some reason, then I can say, you know, state import error, no importer. We'll kind of say that. This is what I'm expecting. This is going to show up, right? We got that position 3D. Great. There's no importer for that, so we're out of here. We go that. There's no importer. There's an error code. Can't do that. Get out of here. Return false. Deinitialize, and then we're going to fail on a deinitialization elsewhere. But. Purpose. We're, we did import a bunch of this stuff and then, okay, that's an info. That's not correct for one. But then it failed to find the importer for the position 3D key. That's okay. And then, then it destroys a bunch of things. And I gotta figure out why it's not. Why is it not? Why? It's assuming that this exists, which it plainly doesn't. It's assume yeah, it's it's assuming that the simulation set is actually something. Okay, I can actually fix that real easy if If that, give that a quick uh, go. If there's no graphic session, it never started. So why am I trying to deinitialize stuff here? gotta like do this stuff otherwise I run into these issues frame complete post graph new graph Oh, of course, it's because there's no graphic session. Ah. So it's that, 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 down to about here. So it's just a little bit of a sidetrack here. 
seeing if I can cleanly deinitialize. Yes, I can now cleanly deinitialize if uh, if I have a failure here. Um, fails to fully typo in there. No, 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 no. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Back to this. So this is now better. At least for initialization. It's going to error. It's going to fail to find, fail to find importer for black key. That's great. Now, Not entirely sure if this is the point where I want to end it at because um, <clears throat> hmm. what I'm thinking is that I don't like it when I, you know, uh, you know what, later, later, later. I can't do it now, but I'll add it to the list for to do hmm, change importer to not fast fail, but um, for a full list of failed components. Uh, to load. So I want to, I want to, right now it's fast fail. As soon as it finds one component, it can't load. It just instantly fails out from that key. What I want to do is in the future, like it goes through, it tries to load everything that it can, and then it provides a list at the end saying, you know, I couldn't find these types. Because I absolutely hate like doing whack-a-mole. It's like, okay, there's an error. I fixed that one error. Oh, there's a new error. And just repeat ad nauseum, right? I want to be able to hit them as many as I possibly can at once. And it's far more useful than that. But for now, fast fail, it'll work. So uh, what I want to do for the moment, I don't care about this now, right? I, I don't. Did I forget this? Okay, no, that's good. Uh, on the importer, I want to change that up to uh, I want to quit that because it also requires changes here. Now let's see if I can actually improve that a little bit. Uh, the import state, do I have a better? I don't have, it's not that I don't have an importer. I have an importer, I have um importer. I just don't have, uh, 
component importer. I want a component importer thing specifically. I want to be as specific as possible. So we got that, we save that. We add it to this. Does it actually, I don't actually have a thing that, it doesn't actually tell me what the, the uh, failure was on the way out. Like at this point, initialize, do, 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 do. Or does it? Oh, it, yeah, it's down there. It's at the end because it, it's destroying the stuff as part of uh, full simulation. Go, yeah, there we go. Import, no component importer. Okay. Um, I did this a long time ago. I don't remember. I added these a year ago. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Uh, resource definitions are in the same boat. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. We'll up. We'll do the same thing here. Where if not, right? This is just returning a boolean. I presume. Yeah, which needs to change. If not that, then we're going to return that. <sighs> Actually, going into this, I'm going to bet that the resource importer is the exact same thing. Cool. So let's make the change here. Let's get this copied over. We are using this instead. We don't have that. We have root node. Wait, hold on. This is what I'm looking for, this bit right here. And it's, I've got it twice. I got it here and somewhere else. Okay. Resource function map. Going through the node. Node, we have resource. Resource key, this has to say entity key for component key. B 
increase. Okay. No, it goes like this. I get the sub node. Great. Search iterator. Dot uh, pointer second. Do, 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 do. And then we do this stuff. We're going very deliberately through this. Same thing down here, but we're not, we're just. Wait, how do I get out of here? Do I just break? Do I return anything? I return the create info. Wait, hold on a second. Um, okay, that I'll keep. Stage, great. This, however, what happened? It just goes through the force, and if you can't find it, then it does nothing. But I can actually know. Okay, uh, da 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 importer for basic functionality. If I was to remove, let's say the graphics uh, stuff, let's say, actually I just need to remove the graphics importers. That'll work. And then reset Okay, that I like. Reset this. I have no failure case. Yeah, I still absolutely have no failure case, which is not going to work. And down here, I'm assuming that I'm always going to get something, I guess. If that, or if that. No, I don't need this. I don't need quite all that. I don't think so anyways. But what I do need is if I can't find
because resources, I just keep going back and forth because I just, so much stuff. Index ID, editor, okay, and then I have that. If I can't find an actual node, so, okay. Yes, I do, I can actually totally use this. Do, 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 give me that. great if I can't find a key for it okay I need first of all bool process or equals false this stuff not processed then I need to say you know I have an error result false blah 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 sorry not this one this one So if it fails to create, then it goes to false. If we fail to find a key for it, it fails. And if it, if we never, if we don't process it, then we have a failure from there as well. to Okay, and then down here, we're just trying to find anything. It's not necessarily a failure if we don't find anything because it will return null pointer, which will then be considered a failure, I think. So let's see if that actually holds up scrutiny because resources does happen before, yeah, state or entity state data. That'll hopefully fail. Right, okay, it failed due to importing resource. Fail to find import for view material v1 resource key. Great. Now I want to see if there's a failure for if I, uh, let's see, material v1 resource key. Let's go down to this then and let's just say there's no material whatsoever there's just nothing in here it's just it's a mystery what is it tell me you're going to fail because you can't process the key the, the thing whatsoever mm, ok 
Okay, which one, which one is it, did it fail on, actually? Got to give me more information. This and this. Give it. Give it all. I need more information for blah entity. Information all over the place. I have to go through this fine check later. But okay, give me the exact file that you're failing on first so I can actually. For this one, material two. How does that work? Why is it? Not, like that's not even the first file. The first file is this one, but it's doing this one first. It's not even the first in the series. Hell. Yes, fail to generate resource. Perfect. Perfect. Um, added error cases for missing um, error cases for data Fails. Where's 
finish line is even good. Okay, that's all of that for the moment. <sighs> so now comes the next part, which was loading this. So extracting, let's say position out of the main application and seeing, can I load this at runtime rather than having it linked in from the very beginning like this? to after um, I'm going to grab a quick. Okay, so way back when I had some stuff, plugin stuff for, yeah, when I was doing some faux model stuff, when I was trying to kind of do a plugin system for that. Now, this looks like I can probably use it Okay, <clears throat> first things first, I want to rip out faux position YAML out of here and out of the other location that was in, which is here and probably here then it looks like as well. All three are going away. Make sure that doesn't break anything. Okay, so that was very clean to actually remove. Then what I want to do here is that instead of that, we're going to be changing it up to, I just focus on the importer for now. So let void plugin. Hmm. Uh, what's this handle of some sort? Plugin, great. We're gonna do that. We're gonna have null handle, and what we're going to do is at some point, it just as part of this, I'm just gonna do it part of this. I'm gonna say that equals sorry. Oh yeah, plugin that we need that and that and then I need a path where I could find this which will be uh so is here okay then I need to find uh, the function symbol which I'm going to use which is a void star type such as function pointer which is that from the plugin and the symbol name which is this no it's not that it takes it it's an error code oh nasty that is not Oh no, it's C++, so the name is 
mangled. Oh no, 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 not good. Uh, well, that's why I'm here to find these little problems. Okay. <clears throat> Can't do that. Because, yeah, so if I actually check symbols in here, and I grep for, was it, stir importers. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mangled old name. That's not going to work. So, bet up to for position, libs, em, Import registration here. Can't do that. Can't, can't. No, cannot. Include foe error code H. I need to return this type instead and change this to C. So that. And I want to export. If uh, def that, that. I need to go down to here. Now I need to say this is an externs. Okay. Okay. How do I do this? Um, how do I convert it? I know I should be able to convert it to, yeah. Hmm. No, hold on. I can convert it that way. Error code to that. Foe to error code. Okay. Different language linkage. Okay, that's great and all. How? Okay. Leave it like that for the moment. Can I? No. No, no, no. Can't. <sighs> right. Okay, yes. So it should be out here, is what you're saying. Yes. Okay, I need to fix that up around a bit. Um, but what's going on here? Yes. Uh, I need to kind of do this, I guess. I need to convert it to that. As annoying as that is. So. E function call. Is it really that simple? It really is that simple. Oh my god, it actually works. It. Oof. I'm actually surprised it is actually working that easily. It feels wrong as usual when things go too. Easy. I mean, okay, it didn't go easy for the other parts earlier. Trying to figure out the uh, error co cases, but this, this is just too easy. Wait, 
no, this isn't returning that. <laughs> Does it? Oh, it's supposed to return that. It just so happened to work. Because I have the exact same layout, don't I? Hmm. Okay. So, with, if that's the case. Hmm. One thing I probably want to do though for this is I need to change up foe position YAML. Like, if I only have the name like this, libfo, something like that, or really that's the name of the library I'm looking for, how do I convert that to, like, if I'm doing this dynamically, like, I don't have this all typed out, like, I just get given that, and I need to be able to, like, load it somehow. I mean, I guess I kind of have like where I, if there's an underscore, replace it underscore like letter, replace it with a capital and then, then make sure I keep that naming convention. Maybe I'm not sure. Probably, you know what? Yeah, I think, I think I can keep that going. think so yeah it's no longer name mangled okay so I got to do a bunch of changes around the place for uh, extern C so for one thing like why, why are these guys here get out of here I need to fix that these need to be outside the extern C area so let's um So for the moment, I can, I'll leave that. Uh, and then I need to do a bunch of extern C uh, things all over the place. So, yeah. Delimited string. Okay, you know what? I'll do that. Okay, I'll actually do the extern C offline. That's boring. Nobody cares about that. Nobody would care to watch that. But the interesting thing right now will be actually like changing over these to be extern C. So, get out of here. Just do it one more time for now and then leave the rest like that. So this, okay, these are gonna become just regular header, H headers instead. Got that and that, great.
Okay. Um, error code equals that, and I'm going to return error code that. Make it a bit more easier to read. Then I would need to make a change down here. So I can revert this. That's fine. That'll work. But I still need to, as part of that, it will let me know in a second the headers. And then what's going to actually happen is right. Really? Are you kidding me? You can find the import, but not the export registration. Export registration, export registration for full position. Oh, because I removed from this, these guys, yeah. For the moment. Then we're back on track. Okay, and then we'll just do it on physics and then Libs, YAML, and I'd have to do the same thing on the I'm GUI side as well. Ooh, yeah, I got a number of things to do about this. So, comes a regular old fashioned C type header. Oh, wrong one. Functions that only differ on the return type cannot be overloaded. Okay. Physics YAML register importers.
Okay. So that's the same. So that's the same process. I'm going. To, blah, blah. I'm going to have to just basically repeat for all these other function calls. This is yeah, error codes. And I need to convert all these base calls to C basically. And then what am I going to have to do? Registering functionality. That makes sense. Registering importer exporter. Where is yeah importing and exporting YAML? That's going to be then okay. Hmm. Not entirely sure. I'll figure it out later. But for now, I'm just going to repeat ad nauseum for a whole bunch of files. No one really wants.